Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add Buy It Now button on Shopify product page. As you can see right here, I'm on my Shopify store and you can see the Buy It Now button right here. I'll be showing you how to add it and also how to edit the Buy It Now button. I'll be showing you multiple options on how to do this. The first option is to simply go into your Shopify admin page. Once on the admin page, we're going to go over to the left hand menu option and we're going to tap on online store. Once you have selected online store, you will be redirected to the themes page. Beside the theme that you're using, you're going to tap on the three dots right beside customize and you're going to select edit code. By the way, let me refresh this page as I have removed the buy it now button. So let me refresh the page so that you can see the buy it now button is no longer there. So now to add it, all we'll need to do once on this page, you're going to scroll down to the bottom left hand corner and you're going to tap on assets. After you have tapped on assets, you're going to scroll down and you're going to select base.css. So we're going to tap on that. Depending on the theme that you're using, you may not see base.css, instead you may see theme.css. Either option, you can select it. Then you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page. Once at the bottom of the page, you're going to tap on the blank line right here, or you could simply tap right in front of the bracket and tap on enter. After you have done that, you are going to copy and paste this code that I will be leaving in the description. So you are going to copy and paste the code right here. And by the way, after you have pasted the code, you can realize that you have two color options. You can change the background color and you can also change the color of the text. Now, after you have pasted it, you are going to tap on save. Once you have selected save in the top right hand corner, if we were to go back to the product page and refresh the page, you will now see the buy it now button. Let me refresh the page real quick and you can see the buy it now button is now there. If you would like to change the color, all you'll need to do, you could go on another tab and you could type in UI colors and from there or you could type in hex colors and from there you can select the particular color that you would like to use. So let's say, for example, I would like to change it to red. I can simply tap right there. And by the way, the website that I'm using is flaticolors.com. Once here, for example, if I would like to change the background color, right where you see background, you could simply select the hex color at the moment. Then you'll simply paste in the new hex color. Then I'll tap on save in the top right hand corner. Once I've selected save, if I were to go back to the product page and refresh the page, you will realize that the color has now changed as you can see right here. And also to change the button color or the text color better yet, I could simply go right here. Let's say I would like to use black. I'll simply copy it right there. Then the button color, I'm going to change it or better yet the text color, I'm going to change it to black. So let me do that then tap on save once more and if I were to go back to the example product page and refresh the page you will realize that it has changed as you can see right here you can see right there and by the way it changes for all product pages so let me go back on home and if I were to select for example a different product let's say I were to select this product right here and tap on it you will realize that it also has the buy it now button displayed as you can see right there another option that you can also use to add a buy it now button to your store is you could tap on exit right here and then you'll go over to the left hand menu option once more and you're going to tap on apps after you have selected apps you are going to tap on all recommended apps once you have tapped on all recommended apps, you will be redirected to the app store. Once in the app store, I want you to scroll down and you're going to tap on Shopify app store. After you have done that, you're going to be redirected to the Shopify app store. 
and in the search bar at the top, I want you to type in buy button. So we are going to do that real quick. After you have typed in buy button, you will be redirected to this page. And this is the old time buy button channel that is recommended by Shopify. But the reason why I don't like it is one, you can see the ratings is very low. And also it is not as easy as it was before to install and so on. But if you would like to give it a try, you can. And if you'd like to add the buy button to other websites, for example, your Wix website or so on, if you would like to embed your Shopify buy button on another website, this is what you'll need to do. So you'll need to install the app. Once you have installed the app, you could tap on open app. After you have tapped on open app, you will be redirected to this page on which you'll get some editing options. Let me show you real quick. Create a buy button. After you have tapped on create a buy button, you can select whether you would like to create a buy button for collections or a product buy button. And you'll simply tap on the option that you want. Then you can select the product that you would like to create the buy button for. And you're going to tap on select. So as I said, this is the option to create a buy button if you would like to embed the buy button on a particular website or platform. After you have done that, you are going to go over to the left hand menu option. You can select whether it is for all variants or a particular variant. You can also select the layout style. So for example, if you would like it to be full view, you can see right there, the product page is now full view. And you can see auction when people click and we'll tap on direct to check out and by the way i did a show you with my buy button right here example if someone were to tap on it it will carry them directly to the checkout page so let me do that real quick as you can see right there so now let me go back into the shopify example again you can also change the buy button style by tapping right here so you can change the background color by tapping on background. So let's say you'd want to change it to blue. You can do that. You can change the button text color also if you want by simply selecting the text color that you would want right there. And you can also change the button text. So you can choose the font style or you can choose any one of these font style as you can see it changes right there. You can also change the font size. So whether you like it to be larger or smaller, you can do that. As you can see right there, you can also change the layout. So you can change the button text. So you can change it from by now if you want. You can also see the product title. You can edit the product title color. You can edit the price color, the variant color, and also the description. And you can also change the font size and style for those sections, as you can see right there. So it gives you numerous editing options. And you can also tap on advanced settings. And from there, you can choose whether you would like it to open in a pop-up window or redirect in the same tab. You can select either option. Once it is to your liking, you're going to go over to the top right-hand corner and you're going to tap on next. After you have tapped on next, you could select copy code. And after you have selected copy code, from there, as you can see, you can also get your buy button on your WordPress to add to WordPress or Squarespace or Wix. But all we'll need to do, you could tap on copy code right here. After you have tapped on copy code, if I were to go back and create a new page, just for example sake, so let's say I would like to create a new page. I'm going to tap on online store. Then from there, I'm going to tap on pages. Just to create a test page, for example. So I'll tap right there. Then I'm going to tap on add page in the top right hand corner. After I've tapped on add page, I'm going to simply type in test page right here. Then right in this section here, You'll simply clear the section. Then you want to tap on show HTML and you're going to paste in the code. After you have pasted in the code, you're going to tap on save in the top right hand corner. Once you have saved it to view it, you could simply tap on view page in the top right hand corner. 
and from there you will now see the product so let's do that real quick as you can see right here you can see the product and you can see the buy now button so this is how it would look hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe